Welcome to Counters. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the high-low method. This method aims to determine and separate the fixed cost and variable cost from the limited information available. So you are given information and you have to determine what the variable cost is and what the fixed cost is in order to make decisions. So that's basically what the high-low method aims to achieve to show you what the variable cost is and it's usually per unit and what the fixed cost is with the limited information available, meaning you don't have enough information to tell you this is the variable cost and these are the fixed costs. So you're using the high-low method to do this. It's quite easy to do this. So how do you calculate the variable cost using the high-low method? What is the formula for doing so? Well, here it is. It's the cost at highest activity level minus the cost at lowest activity level divided by the high activity level minus the low activity level. Now, this might seem difficult or too complex, but it's because we have not looked at an example. So we're going to look at an example in calculating the variable cost per unit using the high-low method, and you'll see how easy it is. So the numerator here, as you can see, it's the cost at highest activity level. So we are looking here at the rand amount or the value or the dollar amount, if you will. So that's what you're putting as the numerator. It's the cost at the highest activity level minus the cost at the lowest activity level. And then the denominator here looks at the actual activity. So if you are looking at uh, hours, for instance, then you'll take the high activity level hours and you deduct the low activity level hours. If, for instance, you are looking at units, then that is what you will take into account. So that is the denominator. What about the fixed costs? How do you calculate the fixed cost using the high-low method? Well, here's the formula. You take the cost at highest activity level minus, you open the bracket, you take the variable cost per unit, which you calculate using the formula we have here at the top, and then you multiply that by the high activity level. And you can see we're using the exact same information we used for the variable cost per unit to calculate the fixed cost, all right? So you take the cost at the highest activity level minus what the variable cost is going to be, and you get the variable cost by taking the variable cost per unit times the high activity level. And that is how you use the high-low method to get the variable cost per unit and to get the fixed cost. All right, now that we've explained it, let's go into the example where you'll understand it thoroughly. Here we go. We're told that Shiligo provides financial consultancy services with the following data for the first six months of 2021. We're given January, February, March, April, May, and June, and we are given the total cost, and then we're also given the number of hours. So the activity here is the number of hours. That's what you'll use as the activity level, and obviously the cost is given here on the left all right the first requirement is that we need to calculate the variable cost per hour using the high low method the second one is to calculate the fixed cost for financial consultancy using the high low method and the third requirement is that we need to calculate the total financial consultancy cost to be incurred if the total number of hours for july is sixteen thousand one hundred and twenty Okay, so we're using the high-low method to calculate these three. So let's look at the first one, calculating the variable cost per hour using the high-low method. So what is our formula for calculating the variable cost per hour? Well, here it is once again, we have looked at it. It's the cost at the highest activity level minus the cost at lowest activity level. And we divide that by high activity level minus low activity level. So let's look at it. What is our activity here? Well, the activity is the number of hours. So yours might be the number of units or whatever the case may be. So you're not looking at the value here. You're not looking at the dollar amount or the rand amount. You're looking at the activity here. And in our case, it's hours. So the cost at the highest activity level, the question is, what is our highest activity level? Well, we're looking for the month with the highest number of hours. So let's look at it. January, we have 15,960. February 13, March 16,600. April 14, May 12, June 16,010 hours. Okay, so we can see from this that March has the highest number of hours, 16,600 hours. So there is the highest activity level, all right? That is the high activity level. So what is the cost at the highest activity level? Well, since we know the 
highest activity level is March. We know that the cost for March is 72,900. So that is what will go here as the cost at highest activity level. What about the cost at lowest activity level? Well, let's first find the lowest activity level. So if we look here at the number of hours, you can see we have 15, 13, 16, 14, 12. We have 12,400 in May. That is our lowest activity level. And what is the cost for May? It's 60,510 rand. All right? So it's going to be the 72,900, the cost at the highest activity level, minus the 60,510 rand, which is the cost at lowest activity level. And we divide that by the high activity level. And we know that it's in March. It's the 16,600 minus the low activity level, which is in May, 12,400. I hope you can now see the driver here is the number of hours or the number of units if your example is number of units or whatever the case may be. Remember, you do not make a mistake and look at the highest cost versus the lowest cost. That is where mistakes usually happen. You're looking at the activity here, which is the number of hours, and that is what will drive your amounts okay so now that we have everything here here's how it will look 72,900 which is just which is the cost at the highest activity level minus 60,510 rand which is the cost at the lowest activity level divided by the high activity level which is 16,600 hours minus the low activity level which is 12,400 hours and it gives us a variable cost per hour of 2 rand 95 sense so that is how easy it is to calculate the variable cost per hour using the high law method okay so you need to keep that in mind 2 rand 95 cents is the variable cost per hour we will need that in calculating the fixed cost for financial consultancy using the high law method so let's look at the second one calculate the fixed cost for financial consultancy using the high law method well here's the formula once again it's the cost at highest activity level that's easy we already have that which is in march that's the highest activity level 16600 hours but the cost is 72900 rand so that's what you put here 72900 minus you open the bracket the variable cost per unit we have just calculated that in number 1 so the variable cost per unit if you remember it's 2 rand 95 cents and you multiply that by the high activity level which is 16600 hours because that's the highest number of hours from all of them okay i hope it's making sense so here's how it, it will look 72,900 rand which is the cost at highest activity level minus the variable cost per unit we have just calculated that in number one 2 rand 95 cents times the high activity level 16,600 hours and gives us an amount of 23,930 rand based on this we know that all these costs here from january to june the fixed cost is 23,930. That is how the high-low method works. It's able to isolate the fixed cost from the variable cost per unit. So we know the remaining of the costs are variable costs, right? And we know it's 2 95 cents per hour, all right? Now, let's do the last one. We are asked to calculate the total financial consultancy cost to be incurred if the total number of hours for July is 16,120 hours. Well, that's quite easy. We've just calculated the fixed costs, which was the one we did in number two. And we also know what the variable cost per hour is, which is the 2 rand 95 cents. And the formula for the total cost using the high loan method is the fixed cost plus you open your brackets the variable cost per hour multiplied by the number of hours for july since we are asked to calculate for july all right so we have already calculated our fixed cost and we know exactly what it is and here is what we have already calculated in number two our fixed cost is 23,930 rand so that's quite easy and then we add the variable cost per hour which is the 2 rand 95 we calculated under the first requirement multiplied by the number of hours for July, which is the 16,120 hours. So you can see how easy it is. We already have the fixed cost. We already have the variable cost. So we just need to do that. The 23,930 rand fixed cost plus the 2 rand 95 cents, which is the variable cost. And you multiply that by the number of hours for July, which is the 16,120. And it gives us a total cost of 71,400 and 84 rand that is how you calculate the total cost 
using the high low method so you can see you first need to calculate your variable cost per hour and then you need to calculate your fixed cost and then you can calculate your total cost all right i hope it has made sense i hope you've gained value from this lesson i hope it was simplified enough and if you have consider subscribing to our channel like this video and share it to those you think it might help till next time cheers